Hi, my name is Jacqueline Ludema. I am an analyst with the Hyperion Research Team, and I'm giving the HPC Applications Update. Okay, first up is the HPC Applications Market View. So um, applications make up 14.2% of the HPC market in 2021. So uh, by itself, it is a $4.95 billion industry. Uh, the dynamic between servers and applications is interesting. For um, every dollar spent on servers, we are seeing uh, 33 cents added to the price tag um, for applications. Um, applications, the market is exceeding Hyperion Research's uh, growth expectations between 2020 and 2021. Uh, last year, we were, pre we were predicting a 6.8% growth um, between those years, and we're actually seeing a 14.8% growth so far. All right, jumping into a couple of trends that Hyperion Research is seeing in our most recent studies. Um, so the migration of CentOS, uh, CentOS users away from CentOS uh, into different operating systems. Uh, we noted on this last year um, and the numbers are coming in and we're actually seeing a shift. Last year, our multi-client study, 59.5% uh, of multi-client respondents uh, reported using CentOS in some capacity. That number has uh, drastically reduced to 37.6% in this uh, most recent multi-client study. And of that 37.6%, 72.1% uh, of those users are reporting uh, or making plans to migrate from CentOS to another operating system. Um, the cause of that is uh, CentOS is, has changed their pricing model. They are prioritizing um, a different format, a different place in the HPC market. Um, and so it's caused uh, a lot of people to feel the need to switch. Uh, the different sectors that we take a look at are making different choices on where to go, uh, where to migrate to. So uh, industry is prioritizing Red Hat Linux, while uh, government is, is prioritizing Rocky Linux. But overall, uh, Ubuntu Linux is rising in popularity across the board. Um, this is a, uh, in AWS, it is a free choice to switch over from CentOS to Linux. Um, and that might be one of the motivations to, to uh, the popularity gain that Ubuntu is seeing. All right, um, then there is the trend of accelerated applications. Uh, overall, people are trying, uh, overall GPUs and accelerators are rising amongst HPC users. Uh, what we're seeing is that GPUs and accelerators are being prioritized in the most, uh, that they're being prioritized in the most meaningful way um, at sites. So um, in our multi-client study, 74.6% of respondents uh, have reported using coprocessors or accelerators on their most important or most used applications. So this shows, uh, this is pointing to that uh, when using GPUs and accelerators, they're not using it for experimental, um, they're, they're not using it for experimental uh, projects. They are using it in, areas that are going to be the most hard hitting across the site, um, possibly. Um, so more users can use it, uh, more jobs can be run um, and speed up those processes. And the third trend I'd like to talk about is um, application runtime. So last year in our multi-client study, one of our key findings was um, a growing runtime uh, across our MCS users. So um, we were noticing a shift to it taking longer um, and we noted it as one of our key findings. However, uh, this year in our multi-client study, uh, we are seeing things speed up. So last year, um, the 
re respondents for our multi-client study said that they are running um, their most important or most used applications. 40% um, of those are to, are run with run have run times of about 24 hours, uh, 24 hours or more. Excuse me. Um, that 24 hours or more is uh, that was 40% last year, and this year it is shrunk down to 29% of those most important and most used applications. Uh, that is a remarkable shift, and um, government is surprisingly leading the charge. Last year, their most important, most used applications, 61% uh, were seeing run times of over 24 hours, and that has shrunk down to 35%. So um, Overall, we're seeing government speed up their processes. I think it'd be a really interesting conversation outside of this to talk about why we think that's happening, why um, how these runtimes have uh, drastically sped up, um, the motivations behind that, the improvements, um, et cetera. If you'd like to continue the conversation, um, my email is jludema at hyperionres.com. Uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much.